welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you five tips on how to better defend your base. So tip number one is going to be better plant X placement. I see this mistake a lot with newer players mostly, but they will put the plant X on top of their base. I don't have any seeds or fertilizer or anything, so I'm just going to do these crop plots for now. They put their plant X on top of their base, which is a horrible idea, because the plant X will shoot to about that rock, but once you get near the walls, the plant X will not shoot you because they won't shoot down. So that's a really bad placement because people can easily rush up to your walls and then blow up your door and get inside of your base. So instead of doing that, what you're going to want to do is place them on the floor. The best would be to put them on the corner of your base, that way if there is a plant X here, it can shoot all the way down that end and all the way down that end of the wall. That way all of your walls are 100% protected by your plant X. Tip, before I jump into the next tip, you can subscribe because I'm always pushing out new content. Pushing out. So for the next tip, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a small and hidden mini base so you can keep all your loot hidden and safe. First, you're going to want to start off with some fence foundations. Place them like this. And then, we're going to fill all this up with stuff. First, you're gonna to wanna to take the fabricator. You don't need to have a fabricator if you don't want to. This is just what I'm using for this example. And you can fit two smithies. One. Two. And then you put a stone foundation over it. Like this. So now, that's a little, that's coming out a little bit, so we'll just put that there. Now that's protected. So then you're gonna want to put, you're gonna wanna put walls almost everywhere around the sides in the back. And then your windows you'll take. The windows are so you can access your smithies and everything else you have inside your base. And then I actually forgot that instead of having stone walls back here, it's usually supposed to be ramps. Get I already have some nice. Confusion. So then you're going to want to place the ceilings all the way. I'm gonna use that. Where are my ceilings? Do I not have any ceilings? Okay then. So then, we're going to put some ceilings over this. And then you have a very hidden base. And if you want some even more storage, what I do the only place this here so I can get up there is I put mortar and pestles in there. You can kind of see it there. Fit them just everywhere you can. You can also put them on top of the smithies, but you don't want to put them too much on top of the smithies or else you won't be able to find your smithy. It won't let you access your smithy. See, now if you look at it right, you can still see your smithy, and you can still access that. So it's just cramming mortars in there, basically, for extra storage. Try to line them up. 
So that is how you make a very hidden base. Looks pretty big, but if you put it in the right spot, it's going to be super hidden and nobody's going to find it. It's going to be how to hide your flyers and I've kept Tames alive for weeks using this method. What you're going to want to do is take it, you want to make sure you have a parachute, fly all the way up to the top of the map. Looks like we're here. And when you're here, make sure it's on stop so it doesn't follow you. You're going to want to dismount, and then it will stay up there. Its stamina won't deplete at all, and then you just wait until you fall. Wow, island looks so weird when it's misty. And then to get it back, you'll just request it. And it will take a little bit, but it's better than having it dead. The next tip is going to be how to armor your turrets. First, I'm going to place down the Jenny. And then what you're going to want to do is take a fence foundation, place it, and then put your turret on top of that foundation. And then your metal foundation just anywhere on top of the turret. It is still able to be destroyed, but it's a lot harder to hit it than if it were to have no foundation at all. Now everything else is exposed, and now it's just the top. So that's really useful to have. The next thing you're going to definitely want is traps. Mostly that's just going to be bear traps, tripwire narcotics, and stuff like that. And explosive traps are pretty expensive. And bear traps are really cheap, but they can really be a game changer. So if the guy blows up your door, usually there's going to be a big deal of smoke and hopefully he'll be highly excited to get into your base so he won't take the time to stop and realize there's a bear trap and then he will get stuck and that'll give you a lot of time to get back to your base, defend it, and make sure your base stays safe and alive. Houses can't live. For the next one, I'm going to teach you guys how to double up your foundations, walls, doors, and ceilings. First, we'll start from the ground up with a foundation. First, you're going to want a thatch foundation. I don't have one, so let's make one real quick. It doesn't need to be thatch. If you have a different one on hand, then you can just use it. But thatch is the cheapest and the easiest to make. So you want to do that. Place a pillar in the middle. Place the metal foundation right here. You'll see it's a little bit lower than the thatch. And then you can see that you can place another foundation on top of that. So you'll do that. And then you'll get rid of this garbage. And then for the walls, I think since I doubled up, yeah, since I doubled up the foundations, you can already double up the walls. But if you haven't ever doubled up your foundations, what you can do to double up your walls is place a thatch roof over the wall. And then you can place another wall right next to it. So that's how you double up the wall. And then for the door, it's basically the same thing. It's a little bit different. So you're going to place your door frame. Place your door. And then you're going to place the thatch. And then you can do another door frame. But you can't place the door there until you open the door that you first placed. And then you have your doubled up walls. Door. And then get rid of the thatch roof. And then for ceilings, you'll place your first ceiling. And then you'll get a pillar, place it right next to it. Make sure that the thatch ceiling is at the higher point. And then you can place another ceiling. And you might think that the ceiling on top is going to break if the foundation and the thatch ceiling get destroyed, but it won't. Stay right there. So that is how you double up your base. Next, I'll teach you how to do it with stone. It's the same for stone, but the doors are slightly different. So I'll teach you how to double up your doors. So to double up a stone door is a little bit different. First, you're gonna wanna take a fence foundation, place it where you wanna put your door. Take the first door frame, place it on the far outside. You'll see there's two snap points right there and there. So you want to make sure it's on the farthest out, place it, put your door down, and then you can see that there is a snap point for another door frame. So 
you don't want to do that. And then, same as the metal, you'll have to open the door up, place that one down, and then you have your double up door. Don't take out the stone fence foundation because that will destroy the door, and you want the door to stay there. Hey, <laughs> look at all them. They're gonna have these ugly bases with the lone stone fence foundation lying around. Not mine. Mine will be the prettiest one by one of all.